Hey everybody, Al2 here, 316RC, and I'm happy to be back today. Happy Easter to everybody. This is an awesome time of the year for me and for Christians around the world as we celebrate the uh, crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. You guys, most of you guys know me by now. You know I'm a saved Christian and uh, accepted Jesus Christ as my Savior. And if you guys I've never done that or don't know what that's all about or anything. I invite you to go ahead and um, check this out here. This is our YouTube channel of our church, Brookfield Bible Church. I do um, sound and uh, video work over there. So uh, go ahead and check it out where you can learn more about that. And um, I invite all you guys to check it out. Um, I'd love to see all you guys with me in heaven someday, but you need to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior to get there. It's as simple as that. It's a free gift. So, all right, check that out if you want. Just wanted to share that real quick with you all. All right, let's take a moment and talk about this MTXL. As you guys recall in the last video where I did the diff rebuild, we ran into some issues there with play in the diff uh, case, the... Um, the differential cup inside the gap racing cases had some play in it. We're going to transition here to the rest of that video, time-lapse photography. I'm going to show you what I did, and when that's over, we'll come back here and we'll talk about it a little bit. Take a look. Hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse video, but there's a couple of things that were not shown in the video. I just got to go over them with you real quick, and a couple of things that I ran into. First of all, here's the shims that I used to fix the problem with the differential, uh, you know, cups moving around inside the cases. This was the um, this is a part number from Losi uh, L O S. 25, 21, 27 uh, differential shims. These are actually sizes 24 by 21 by 0.3 millimeters. So these did the job. You can see um, no play. No play. Now when I tested these shims I put some uh, one on each side of the case and that didn't get the right mesh for the ring and pinion inside I ended up having to put both of them on the same side to get the correct mesh for the ring and pinion so uh, If you're going to do this that may be something you'll have to look at and experiment with how the shims may have to go in um, Wish I didn't have to put them in but I did that's it as you can see everything is working really nice now. Another thing I wanted to point out, which wasn't in the video, was the ring and pinion inside the case. 
for some reason I lost the footage or didn't take it or whatever, but I didn't have the footage, but you must grease that. So I like to use the Team Fast Eddy. So inside of here, there's a bunch of Team Fast Eddy for that pinion and ring uh, mesh. So make sure that you put, do not let, let these grease free. You must grease that up. So use your favorite grease in there. And another thing, in the video I had reused the gaskets, which is fine. A lot of times you can reuse the gaskets, but the problem I ran into is they leaked. And I can't really show it. This is the center diff um, all finished. Boy, it's really it's got that 500 in there. Man, is that tough. But the foot or the imprint on the gasket was different on the plastic stock uh, differential cups than these DGI aluminum cups. So they didn't seal properly. So I ended up having to tear those apart and put brand new gaskets in. So that might be something you just might want to do anyway. The gaskets, you can buy them separately or you can buy you can buy a kit which they give you washers, uh, O-rings, and shims and a gasket in the kit from it's a Losi part number. It's the uh, LOS 252009. I'll put these in the description, these parts, in case you want to pick those up yourself. So that's update on uh, and a final on the differentials. Ready to uh, install these. In fact, I uh, let me swing you over here and show you the chassis. Here's my RC Max chassis. As you can see, I got the rear diff mounted up with the FID differential mounts. This is really going to look good with the silver and red. So just getting started on that. In the next uh, version of the MTXL uh, build, we will uh, we will be installing all these diffs and uh, center diff front diff and uh, really getting started on the chassis work so stay tuned for that it's going to be coming up real soon uh, appreciate all you guys for tuning in once again happy easter to everybody make sure to spend some time uh, with family and friends and uh, let's just keep in mind what the easter season's really all about all right guys al2 here 316 i'll see you on the next video so long